should be able to get this done in five minutes, so I'm just going to get straight into it. This is Wirecast 6, I think it is. Wirecast 6.05. Now, I've got a license for Wirecast uh, 4, uh, sorry, 3X, and I've got the HDV upgrade, which looks like it still works with 6, so it means I can have additional HD cameras in there. But I need to get a license now for six and the upgrade is 130 quid as I've probably mentioned before this video. But I just want to quickly show you how at least the camera part of it would work with Blab. So let's go over to blab.im while we're doing that. This is the, the main area of Wirecast. You've got different shots down the bottom here. You can edit these shots and change the mic. You can put overlays for Twitter, things like that on the top. Um, you can select your webcam, the microphone, um, you can add test text effects, you can put like boxes with, let me just create another thing, you can create boxes with like, um, how do I move that, I have to move that one up don't I, uh, let's do that, you can put like boxes and put two people in each one, um, you can do all kinds of stuff, it's really really powerful, so one of the ways that you get your Wirecast output into um, blab is there is these virtual camera outs so if we do the start on the virtual camera outs so that's running in the background now tells you 25 26 frames a second using 33 uh, percent cpu what i tend to do on wirecast is i shrink down this window uh, and that eventually over time seems to what well, it did do in the previous version seem to use less cpu so anyway in um in blab if we go in and start a new blab I'm going to put um, testing wirecast input. It's going to be a quick video, this guy. General, uh, where's tech, 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 tech? When do you want to go live now? And then start blab. And then uh, what you'll see is that the top corner at the top here is a uh, icon for your video input. So if I select that, you can select Wirecast virtual camera, which is very, very cool. And then select done. And then I think I pressed reset, but then uh, refresh. But then because I've left, it sometimes drops me straight out. That's the blab was off the record. So you have to set that first. So let me go back. And I've not found a way where you can set the virtual input. You can go to another site and set the virtual input, then come back and do it. Um, but now it's set, should be all right. Testing uh, Wirecast input general. Uh, where was tech? It's not, it doesn't matter anyway. I do you want to go live now? Start Blab. Um, this will probably let loads of other people know that I'm, I've started a Blab now as well, which is kind of not what you want to do. So now you can see there's an overlay on there with Wirecast, and you can probably you probably can't hear it, but um. It normally puts up that thing, but it means that I can do all kinds of stuff inside a Wirecast. So, I mean, I can just uh, let me just change you this just to show you how it, it actually works. If I bring that back up and then um, double click on that, I think, press it again. You see that it changes on Blab on the Blab site. So, you can basically have video, you can have interviews, previously recorded stuff and uh it will show in there so you can create a whole a whole sheet of uh different inputs obviously you have to if you notice everything's 4b3 so you'd have to cut everything down to be 4b3 so that that it was this size um you know graphic overlays over the top of it etc etc so that's it that's really what i wanted to show you is that it's incredibly powerful for a show it means that we can have various assets set up here at the bottom so you can have different um i think you can even i think i could probably bring in somebody by skype as well um might have to play a bit around with that double a bit there's lots of camera angles of me on here it's kind of scary but it's there's a lot more features in wirecast than that but i'd be interested in doing a whole kind of series of video clips of how to get the most out of wirecast and blab and linking them together so if you're interested in that um, any donation will be awesome if you're chucking five dollars or you know if we got a bunch of people chucking five dollars we'd get to 160 pound quite quickly and that will enable me to upgrade from version three to version six so i hope you'll follow along and uh thanks for watching look to my coming on the first light of the fifth day 
At dawn, look to the east. Just past that Starbucks.